There's a lot of history behind this place. This building that we're in right now has actually been here since the 30s, and it was built as a music hall and a dance hall for some employees of Pat, where the name Pat's Acres comes from. It was 1967, Chris Egger, not to be confused with my father, Chris Egger, he leased the property and he installed the go-kart track and it, it became a, a very prominent racing track. We've held a lot of big races here. My dad got into karting in 95, and he fell in love with it, bought a kart that weekend, and started driving for a couple years. The owner of the property, who was a farmer, had some issues with the club that was running it, and he pulled the lease from them, and he was actually planning on taking out the track, taking out this building, and he was gonna start farming all of this land. And my father, growing up, in that farming lifestyle. It was very easy for him to connect with him. They talked for three or four hours and he left with a contract signed on a napkin and a handshake. And he saved the track and uh, just tried to keep the racing going out here. The attraction is just the competition. A lot of these kids grew up watching NASCAR races, IndyCar and Formula One, and they want to do that. Karting is the very first step into racing. For those people that are trying to make that big step, karting is the first level. Karting is where you're gonna learn everything, your race craft, your drivability, and even just the lessons of competing, going through the rough weekends where stuff doesn't go your way. I've been using the kart racing around, yeah. You know, just having fun. I mean, started last in the heat and all that, but somehow we made our way up through the ranks today. We work together and we all win. To be the best, you have to be absolutely perfect. Everything on the cart has to be perfect. It's, there's a lot to it. it. A lot of people don't understand that this is actually physically demanding. A lot of people just say, oh, well, you're just sitting in the cart and you're driving. Well, no, it's, it's not that. There's a lot of physical aspects to it. You have to stay hydrated. There's a lot of muscle involved. They're not very heavy. You're really low to the ground. It feels way faster than anything else. Like, because you're so close to the ground, you feel like you're going way faster than, like here we're going 80 into turn one when it was sunny out, and it's really fast. Once I get in my car, I feel like every time I go out, I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna try my hardest and do the best I can. It's just a great sport. Father, son, father, daughter, the family can come out and support the driver. It's very similar to motocross. Go-kart racing is actually like an unknown sport. It's a, a smaller niche than motocross, but I'd say to people, come out to Pat's Acres in Canby, Oregon, and see what the go-kart racing is all about. About 10 months out of the year, they've got events going on out here, and I would just invite families to come out and check it out. It's 